Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Allahu rahman ar-rahim. Dear students, today we will start chapter two, life and living things. So, dear students, open your books and come on page sixteen. Today, I will explain life processes, and at the end of this lecture, you will be understand what. is life processes and to explain how all living things carry out the same life processes and are made up of cells also to understand seven characteristics about living things dear students you can see in these pictures the things in this picture may look very different from each other but all of them have one significant thing in common and that is they are all alive you can see here in these pictures you can see the tiger you can see the fish you can see the cat you can see the sparrow also the mushroom they were quite different from each other physically but you can see here that their significant the main significant is that all of them are alive and they all are breathed what is life processes the thing what is life processes how should we define life process okay so the life processes is the basic important activities performed by an organism to withstand life are called life processes they help an organism to survive okay life processes are the basic activities which with which an organism survives in their environment and to withstand in the environment so life processes are those activities which were performed by different organisms according to their life style living things can be identified because they have certain characteristic they all carry out the same life process they all reproduces they all grows they all respires they all uh, excrete and they all survive their life processes okay although they do not all do this is in exactly the same way for example a cat moves very quickly when it catches a mouse an ivy plant on the other hand moves very slowly as it grows up a wall towards a light the different organisms perform different life processes okay some are very fast and some are slow as compared to them for example the movements of plant will be quite very slow as compared to that of the movement of the animals different animals move differently okay some move slowly and the other moves quickly so different organisms involves different processes uh, which they carry slowly or fastly so it will depends upon each and every organisms how how that organisms survives their lives life processes is is the acronym of the word mrs green okay it is the acronym of mrs green and all the letters used there in the word mrs greens are represents the life processes thing okay they represents the life processes so i will explain one by one of them okay so the first one that is m stands for movement r stands for respiration s stands for sensitivity g stands for growth r stands for reproduction e stands for excretion and the last n stands for nutrition okay so these are the seven basic characteristics that performed by a living organism in the form of life process remember one thing that you if you do not remember all these words by yourself so
So you must uh, remember the word Mrs. Green. And according to Mrs. Green, you can know all these things. Okay? Like N stands for nutrition, E stands for excretion, R stands for reproduction, G stands for growth, S stands for sensitivity, R stands for respiration, and N stands for movements. So I hope so that you should, uh, that Mrs. Green, the word Mrs. Green will be there in your mind. We will explain these life processes one by one. So we will move towards the first one that is nutrition. Okay. So what are nutrition? Animals feed to produce energy and to grow. They eat other living things. Plants make their own food by photosynthesis. Nutrition, basically the product are the energy product that each and every organisms are required for their growth and for their uh, survival. Okay, nutrition includes carbohydrates, fats, minerals, vitamins, uh, uh, calcium, etc. All of them are considered to be nutrition and each and every organism's body need this nutrition for their survival. Without nutrition, no animal or no plant should be survive there because they should feed their bodies and they, because of the food, their bodies produces energy and that energy will be used there for their useful work and for their movement. The plant make their own food, okay? So they make a food by themselves and that process is what so-called Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which plant takes energy from the sun. It will uh, acquire water minerals and uh, uh, water minerals and carbon dioxide from the environment. And in the green leaves of the plant, a process will start there. That is what so-called photosynthesis. In the presence of a green pigment, that is what so-called chlorophyll. With the help of the chlorophyll. The plant make their own food and in this process oxygen gas will be removed from the leaves of the plant that later animals use for their respiration so photosynthesis is a process by which plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight water molecules and carbon dioxide and as a result it will produce a gas called oxygen which animals use for their respiration come towards the second life process that is what so called growth now students you commonly see or you observe that each and every animal grows until their adult food okay you can see there that your younger brothers or younger sister will quite smaller in size as compared to you and your older brother sisters are quite larger in size as compared to you as compared to you your parents sizes are also uh, enlarged okay so animals grow throughout their life animals only grow until they reach a certain height plant however grow continuously throughout their life you can observe there that the plant if they have sufficient condition they have sufficient nutrients, they have sufficient amount of water molecules, so they grow throughout their lives. But you can observe that some animals, or most of the animals, if they reach their adult food, then their growth will stop, and some of their body parts uh, will grow then. For example, your nails will grow throughout your life, okay? Your hairs uh, grows throughout your life, but the rest of your body parts will stop after some time. After you reach your adulthood, your growth will stop there. But uh, on the other hand, the plants grow out through their lives. Come towards the third point, and that is what's so-called excretion. Excretion is a process by which the plants and animals remove the waste materials from their bodies. All living things produce waste such as carbon dioxide and water. The removal of waste from the body is called excretion. Each and every organisms in the planet remove 
materials that were not necessary there or that were not needed there or in their bodies they removed those materials from their bodies and this process is what so called excretion for example let let me consider the digestive system of a human so it will start from the mouth if you put your food in your mouth so your mouth will start digestion of the food and that food will pass through your stomach through esophagus and your stomach will add it some juices there and it will be further digested and it will goes through the small intestine and in small intestine it will be absorbed in there uh, in the uh, cells and it, uh, the rest of the food that is not uh, that was not useful enough that will move to the large intestine and it will stay there for uh, some time and after some time you will remove those materials from your bodies in the form of feces okay so this is the process by which all living things produce waste such as carbon dioxide and water and the removal of waste from the body is called excretion now come towards the fourth characteristic of your lifestyle that is movement movement is a very very important characteristic of your life without movement uh, it is not possible that you can survive especially in animals the movement is very very important for their survival animals move by using their legs wings or feet okay we human uses our legs to move uh, the birds uses their wings to move and the fishes uses their fins to move so plants move by growing towards or away from something plants movement will possible towards the light okay the shoots of the plants will move towards the light and its roots will move towards the water and mineral in the soil okay so animals move for their shelter for their food and for their protection okay so if a plant or animal unable to move then their survival will be quite impossible there and they can be easily targeted by from their prey okay their prey will be uh, it will be uh, automatically considered to be a prey for other animals and it can be easily victimized if an animal or plant cannot move so movement is a very very important characteristic of life come towards the next characteristic and that is what so called sensitivity it is also very important characteristic of your life animals use its organs such as eyes and ears to respond to what is going on around them for example let me consider the uh, sense organs of a human so human body have five sense organs sense of hearing sense of seeing sense of taste sense of touch and sense of smell you can see this all with the help of all these uh, senses uh, you should uh, survive and you should communicate with your environment okay so with the help of these uh, senses you are connected with your environment for example instantly you are hearing me so you are using two of your senses one is hearing and the other one is seeing you are uh, you are seeing my slides and you are hearing my words and you will try to understand these thing with the help of the two senses so animals uses a sense organs such as eyes and ears to respond to what is going on around them plants do not have sense organs but still but can still react by growing towards things such as light and water earlier i explained to you all that uh, the movement of plant will be possible only towards the roots and shoots it will move towards the sunlight by their shoots and it will move towards the water and minerals toward by their roots so this is the very important characteristic of your life okay sensitivity is very important without this you will not survive because this will tell you the danger uh, round about you or it will tell you about what to do uh, what to do in that situation okay if you feel if you come out in a sunny day then you will feel hot so your skin will tell you that you should go to the shadow 
or uh, if there is a lot of light coming towards you, so your eyelids will close automatically and your eye will detect a very small amount of light from them and your eyes will be uh, protected from damage there. You should test different foods, different foods that were made by your moms. So you should test that food with the help of your tongue and you can touch different things whether the thing is uh, whether the thing is hard or that is soft or that is wet or that is dry. So you use your skin, uh, especially your hands for that and you can uh, know that what thing is harder and what thing is softer and what is uh, wet and what is dry. So you use this different sense of this uh, differently according to the situation. Uh, uh, you should uh, use uh, that sense at that situation. So sense organs are very important in the life processes. Come towards the next life processes and that is what so far the reproduction. Reproduction is a very important life characteristic. Reproduction is a process by which an organisms produce their younger ones. Uh, and organisms uh, should uh, uh, produce young ones uh, of their own kinds. Okay, and as a result, their, their their generation will start continuing. Without reproduction, it is quite impossible to survive or to uh, withstand with your generation. Okay, so reproduction is a process that uh, young ones are offspring will be produced there and that young ones or offsprings will replace uh, the elders that were to die, okay? So uh, the young ones will come and it will, replaces, uh, the, it will replace the older ones and then the alive, alive will survive there and uh, uh, a breed will uh, continue there and a breed will survive, okay? So reproduction is the process by which uh, living organisms produces uh, their own shapes and their own kinds. Okay, all living things must reproduce to replace those that are dying. So reproduction is a very important characteristic, and with the help of this, it will continue in organisms, or an organism will continue its breed. The last one is uh, respiration. Respiration is a process by which a gaseous exchange will be there. Living things need energy to grow, to move, and to enable the body to work properly. So, reproduction is a process by which an organism gets energy from the food. Okay? The main function of respiration is to produce energy from the food, and that energy can be used by an organism to grow, to move, and to enable the body to work properly. Energy is released. Okay? You should remember in your mind that energy that you get from the food will be used, or will be get from the food and that can be used to perform different body functions. Okay, so this process is what's so called respiration. Now in the process of respiration, human beings or other animals will acquire oxygen from the environment and it will exhale carbon dioxide to the environment. The animals inhale oxygen from the environment and it will exhale carbon dioxide to the environment. But in the process of plants, things will be quite oppositely. They will inhale or they will absorb carbon dioxide gas from the environment and they produces oxygen gas to the environment. So respiration is a process by which gaseous exchange should be occur there. Okay, respiration is a process in which plants and animals should be should exchange gases gases in their uh, gases to their environment, and as a result of that, it will produce energy, and that energy will be used to grow, to move, and to enable the body to work properly. Okay, so this is what so called respiration. Okay. All of these are characteristic of life processes and I hope so that you people understand these things quite easily.
uh, an, instance, an interesting information for you that on Earth there are more than 1,500,000 different kinds of animals and about 300,000 different kinds of plants are there. Okay, so you must keep these things in your mind that on the planet or on the surface of Earth there are 1,500,000 different kinds of animals and around about 300,000 uh, different kinds of plants are there. Uh, another interesting information for you, that is plant growth movement is a response to the stimulus called tropism. Phototropism is the response of moving towards light and hydrotropism is the response of moving towards water. This is a very important information for you, okay? The movement of the plant is so-called tropism, okay? If a plant moves, then that is so-called tropism. And I told you earlier that it will move only towards their shoots and towards their roots. So the movement of the shoots is so-called phototropism because photo means light and tropism means movement. So it is so-called the movement towards light, okay? And hydrotropism means the movement towards water. Okay, hydro means water and tropism means movement. So the movement towards water is so called hydrotropism. Time for review. Okay, I should review today's uh, lecture. That is the basic important activities performed by an organism to withstand life are called life processes. Life processes will be defined that the basic important activities that an organism perform for their survival. That is what so-called life processes. All living things have seven characteristics of life processes and they are so-called movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, nutrition. And all these seven letters are the synonym of Mrs. Green. So if you remember these things, you must keep in your mind the word Mrs. Green in your mind. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. This is all, uh, this is all uh, from today's lecture. If you have any questions, so you should ask, please. Thank you so much.